Okay, I'm going to do a couple of um, really elementary CSS edits over here. Nothing uh, that you shouldn't already be familiar with, but here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to apply a background color for the body, so I have a, the overall page. I don't want it to be white. Um, next thing I'll do is actually add a, a color to my containing element, which is uh, the article uh, element. Uh, looking at my text, this seems a little bit wide to me, to, for the user to read from left to right, and by the time they get over here to, to the end of the one line, it could easily get confusing moving back here. So I'm going to define a maximum width for my paragraph text. And uh, actually, also, I'm going to do a little, add a little line height over here to give it, to give the content a little bit of breathing room. And finally, I, th I don't know this, this, this SVG image that I have. It expands all the way um, to what I want it to be, but eh, it seems a little excessive. So let, let me probably define a max width for that too. So just forging ahead, let's go right to the easy stuff. We'll go to body and I'm just gonna choose a background color for this thing. It's we're talking about 80s uh, games over here, classic games. So I'm gonna add some really bold colors and article I'm gonna add and make the article Space Invader. Let's go background color and we'll make that red. And let's see quickly. All right very good very good I'm not sure why my oh, there we go my header text okay perfect so nice job on that that looks fine to me um, now what was I saying I was gonna do so the next thing is uh, okay I like this video to go all the way up against the edges of the article so I'm not gonna add any padding or anything to give it any borders that's uh, yeah We'll see. Okay, that's fine for now. This text, though, needs uh, a little more legibility. And what I'm going to do first is let me, in, in my, of course, here under typography, I think what I'll do is I'm going to target my, my, P, uh, my paragraph elements specifically. And let's start with line height. Line height I often use is just 1.2 EMs. It seems just to give it just enough room. There we go. It gives it just enough room not to make it too far apart. And um, it kind of eases that, that congestion between lines. So I like doing that. Um, I'm not going to do any kind of text uh, text alignment like justif or test justification to make this thing a perfect box because that really messes up people uh, with dys dyslexia. Um, they there's this thing called rivers of white, and it's um, people with dys dyslexia, like clearly me, um, have difficulty figuring out. Well, here let me, let me just. Um, show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, oh, what am I doing? Text align. Oh, I swear I know what I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> uh, text align. Justify. Maybe I was just misspelling it. Okay. Kind of not as intuitive as, you know, t t text justify yes you know yeah so here we go you see how you know it looks a little bit nicer from a design point of view having both sides uh, uh, just straight like that but people who are dyslexic tend to read between the letters more so when there's this is pretty good but he, here's an example um, inside of here you'd see they have what they call rivers of white and um, people just with dyslexic people tend to focus on the spaces rather than the actual letters, so it decreases uh, their legi the legibility of your content to them. So just just stay away from it. I mean, this is just fine, and and even from uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not dyslexic, I don't think, um, and um, and this helps me out too because it shows you where you end, and then it's easy to go back to where you started. So anyhow, uh, that looks good. Let me now define a max width for this guy too. And I'm going to go max width. And because my text is potentially going to be changing in size, uh, I'm just going to define it in EMs. 
uh, instead of defining it in the percentage of the page. So let me go 36 EMs, which is about, you know, 36 to 40 EMs is generally a good place to maximize your width because it makes people easier for them to scan it from left to right and then go back to left. Um, and of course, now there's more, uh, they're not even, right? Now it's kind of nested to the left, but I still want that to be um, dead center of the page. So let me just go, um, what I would do here is good old margin, and we know auto, uh, oops, zero and auto, and that should correct it real quick. Perfect, just like we align uh, other box level elements. And uh, let's see what else. It's interesting, actually, this is a block quote, and we could specify that later. I kind of forgot that, but we, we could deal with that later. Um, and I'm thinking now when I look at it, we may need, maybe we'll add between the block quotes um, a little bit of, let's just try line height. Let's, let's do that, because that should, let's go 2 EMs, and that should kind of, uh, is that doing anything? It may not be. No. All right, so what we're going to need to do then is just add maybe a margin top, and let's see, 2 EMs there. Let's see what that does. That separates it. Yeah, that's fine with me. That pushes it down a little bit from the video, and it separates this guy from this guy, uh, this whole block item um, that we'll later deal with because this is one place and here's another. And of course we could do something similar straight to our paragraph element and that is a bit much. Um, 1.2, how about that? But there we go. That kind of gives our, eh, even that's, yeah, I, ag I agree with you. It's a bit much. There we go, 0. 0.8. So that increases it. Perfect. And now for this guy, oh my goodness, you are a big boy, huh? And what we could do here is pretty easy. Um, I'm just going to add another image declaration. And what I'll do is just define a max width for him. Um, max width, let's say 50%. I'm not going to change it up here because it's nested and this allows our width to stretch and be... Um, and be responsive. So I have to add a new declaration over here. And then, bam, uh, well, that's not exactly what we wanted. We wanted them dead center. Uh, no problem there, because we just straight copy and paste our good old margin zero auto, which, oh, that didn't quite work. So what do we do? We did something about before where when the small didn't want to center, all we had to do is add that display block in there. So we do that. And there we go. Now, that's a bit better. If I, when I close it out in the middle of the page, when I make it bigger, eh, let's not totally kill them. Give them a little bit more. Looks good, looks good. Let's make sure it looks good in all of them. Um, yep, works well. And I'm sure it looks good in our other browsers that function properly.